those people that you put a very wicked while doing skincare, you people are acting as if and as if for four weeks I allowed everybody to come and shine. <sighs> I don't really know where I want to start to do this shala you from like I, I don't know. Hey Becca, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin Becca. I'm so glad to have you guys here. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly click on subscribe button before you leave. Also give this video a very big thumbs up right now or at the end if you enjoyed watching it. Okay? Guys, let me tell you, today in the house has just been a lot, you know, shala you here and there. Most especially to Big Brother. Like the housemates are just taking out time to just pour out what's in their hearts and all of that, seeing that when they talk to fellow housemates before you know it's better you tell that person go fly go to the other person here and all of that you know so they were really taking our time because big brother obviously gave them the room to do all of that and i know that in the last video i came to you guys with i was talking about the altercation you know shags and fina had and all of that and of course when shags went in for his diary session you know big brother was talking to him about it and he was like you know for him he's very confident you know but he's not arrogant and you know he doesn't see anything wrong with that and then big brother is like okay fine so if you're saying that you know you are confident and you're not arrogant have you wondered or have you taken out time to figure out if Fina is also just being confident you know instead of you thinking that she's just being loud and overly arrogant and it's like mm, big brother I don't think that what she was doing was her being confident I feel like that's arrogance and that's where the difference is and then you know he was just talking plenty my own i'm just like see if you know, i don't clear you but then there was something he said that kind of made sense to me you know he kind of admitted that he shouldn't have said oh if they put two of us up you are definitely going like oga first of all you just came to the level two man you're like you guys just met okay you're just staying together this girl has been up multiple times so you cannot now come you that you've never been up before you now just open your mouth and say this so him accepting that you know it made sense to me even though the deal has been done and for him he doesn't think that you know what Fina was doing was her being confident he thinks it's her being arrogant see arrogant so confident so people should get out okay let's move on to other things all right now um for amaka and fina big brother had asked fina you know what's up with your friendship with amaka and all of that and she's like mm that she doesn't really know that Amaka has changed and that's also because the guy that she likes, Giddy Fire, is now in the house so she kind of spends more time with him and all of that and you know even their side comments, you know those that are normal this way that they give us so they're not really they get him again so even yesterday she tried to have that with her but you know the countenance that amaka was bringing mm, so she don't really know so she just left her and for her she doesn't want to go and call amaka to now start saying ah amaka you don't change yo this one this one me and amaka no they do plenty explanation because for her she does not like plenty talk so it's almost like any energy amaka brings to her is the same energy she will return you know giddy fire too was trying to explain to big brother how you know he doesn't know how to deal with the whole diana situation you know blah 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 big brother now said giddy fire what is your relationship like with amaka and i said ah we spent time together we're always together we always did it big brother now said to him giddy fire do you think that action speaks louder than voice a bit than words how do they say that thing and he was like yes i think so and then big brother was like and you're wondering why diana is upset at you and why she doesn't want to talk to you if you're doing something else like you're obviously doing more with your actions you're spending more time with amaka and you don't expect her to be angry if i was not like no but i want her to like tell me what it is that she's feeling because me i'm always telling her and then big brother was like but you just said that action speaks louder so if she's showing you so much care and attention like you have actually agreed to then what else else do you need from her so you might want to talk to her you know you guys figure it out and you know giddy fire was like okay thank you big brother and then big brother actually told him good luck two times he said good luck with diana and oh good luck with diana so good luck to you giddy fire like go and sort it out now before i end this video yeah one of the major things i want to talk about is actually diana okay diana has been crying and if you don't pay attention to her you might just think that you know she's just a cry baby um, I beg to differ, you know, because there are some people that when something is bothering them, instead of talking about it, 
they choose to cry about it you know and just cry in silence without necessarily saying anything about it or trying to find a way out of it and sometimes i feel like it's really annoying but whether or not i feel that way it doesn't change the fact that there are people like that and the truth is we need to find a way to you know work with them and just walk around them which is actually why i love what amaka did this afternoon so let me give you guys like a backstory you know now before the houses were merged or before the levels were merged uh every Everybody in level one or most people in level one will always tell um, Diana oh I love your skin you know I love your skin so apparently you know Diana is working towards a skincare brand or I don't know if the brand is already in existence but it's called D beauty so please let me help her put it out here D beauty okay please check it out I don't know because she's been crying so much and I feel so bad because I know how she feels so for her it's like now we have a task you know we have our wager task and you know a group that has been formed has something to do with skincare right now my level housemates you know people from level one they already know this about me you know they already used to praise my skin so i assumed that they all know that i have interest in what skincare right now there's a task now that the house has been merged and of course a part of the task required skincare and you know all of that and for the level two housemates they were quick to actually call out who modella because they know for a fact that modella also has something to do with skincare she already has a brand called skin della see i'm helping them put it out there because i feel like this is a major problem when you feel like you have a brand and people are just trying to suppress it or people don't want you to shine for some weird reason you know so now the level two housemates they kind of said oh yes skindela because modella obviously has that now for diana she was expecting her level one housemates to also say oh we have our o2 in our level diana has one it's called d beauty or even if it's not in existence but she has interest in that please can we form two groups which was actually what adekule was doing adekule was like no let us split this skincare into two groups but just seeing that diana was not really I don't know she was not being very enthusiastic about the whole thing she just relaxed like not relaxed she was feeling bad right but she just didn't know how to you know put her message i don't know how to explain it but she didn't know how to say oh so you guys could not even say this oh this is what i want and amaka is telling her look you don't need to always feel out of place if you knew that this was what you wanted you would have still stood your ground just like adekule was doing you know so that they can make it two groups we we'll have skin Della, and we have deep beauty you know instead of you resolving to tears and saying oh all your level one housemates they are very very wicked you know they should have known this they should have actually said this so for her it's like she was waiting to see if they would even mention her because according to her for the past three four weeks she has been letting people shine for example when bella said oh she has a fashion line or she wants to launch a fashion line they let her do that their runway thing and she was happy about it when they were saying oh sports sports they allowed checks because i mean he's a footballer or he used to be a footballer you know so for her it's like why don't they want to give her a chance to shine you know why are they trying to just press her neck and just you know and Amaka is like, no, sometimes you need to speak up. You can always wait for people to speak for you. And to be honest, yeah, this afternoon, Amaka impressed me with that advice. Like, no, not everybody will speak for you. See, not everybody will remember you in times when you feel like they should. So you need to always stand up for yourself. You need to learn it. It's just something you have to learn. And I don't know if somebody can just go and help me whisper to Diana that in Biggie's house, it's all man for yourself. Whether we are doing bestie bestie. It is still all man for yourself okay like i just really felt bad seeing her down and crying about it um please she has deep beauty okay i don't know if it's out there already or it's something she just wants to create but guys please there's deep beauty and it belongs to diana okay like i don't know i don't like it when people feel like they are not good enough or somebody is trying to make them feel like they are not <laughs> better you don't too much but please there's deep beauty okay biggie also asked them questions about the new head of house and you know some of the housemates like doi um there was somebody else that complained you know for finna when biggie asked her she was like you know they've never seen head of house before you know they've never experienced it so she doesn't know if this is how it's meant to be but what she has noticed is that elo swag does more and you know chomzi is just there basically doing nothing so for her she doesn't know but for doi hmm, 
Dory was like, no, I don't understand. She's too dull. You know, she's doing this. I think there was a guy. Another guy actually said that she's being very dull about the whole thing too. But you know, Dory was just really out there. She was like, well, maybe if I had won it, then I would have done better. But since I know win it, let me just shut up my mouth. But I just feel like, you know, Chomsey is not doing enough. You know, she's allowing Elo to do everything. You know, she's just mostly there looking. You know, even if the house is being noisy, she cannot really talk. Like, Madam, you are the head of house. I mean, when they were even planning for their task this afternoon, she just sat down there, just occupying the space there, and then Elo Swag was the one talking. Even with the brief, she had to stand up, gave it to Elo Swag, sat down, but I'm just like, what is this? What is this? And I don't know. It could just also be that, you know, first of all, she doesn't know how to handle, you know, authority. I don't know what it is. Or maybe it's because, you know, she feels like now that she's having issues with, you know, her friends who probably would have been backing her up before, she probably feels like they might not listen to her and she doesn't want any form of disrespect. I don't know what it is. But for me, I feel like Chumzi is not doing a good job for now. Maybe she'll get better. But for now, she's just very cold. You know, Elo Swag seems to be the head of house, and I don't know how I feel about that. But guys, let me know what you think in the comment section, okay? I don't know if it's just me, you know, but let me know what you think. Do you think that you know Chomzi is doing a good job as the head of house? Like, tell me what you think about Diana crying, you know, that they did not pick her or that her housemates did not speak for her. You know, just let me know what you think, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, Please subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, share my channel link generally with your friends and your family, okay? Tell them to subscribe, alright? I love you guys so much and I will see you on the next one. Bye!